There is a big difference between positive peace and the current situation in Lebanon today. Uh, for the past two decades, there has been a kind of cold peace with burst of um, social emotions, with uh, strife between communities, with war with um, border countries like Israel in 2006. And finally, when we look at Lebanon today, we understand that we are far from what the Taif Agreement in 1989 uh, proposed, offered for the Lebanese to end the war and to reconciliate the Lebanese. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a deep problem for Lebanon after the war, the fact that they were not allowed to look back into their history, to look back and share their memories of the war time, because there is an amnesty law which was adopted in 1991, which forbids everyone to dig out the story of the war, the victims, the perpetrators, and so on. So the, the Lebanese see they can't look out to their future and they are stuck in their prisons, reviving, resetting the events of the war and not making progress in sharing their different stories, sharing their griefs, which are still present, and building a new Lebanon between themselves because their history is forbidden to them. Well, one of the problem, major problems of, of Lebanon today is the fact that the policy and the rule of the country is in the hands of an older generation, people who were already there before the war, who were warlords during the war, who were taking advantage of the war, and who do everything to uh, stick the system immobilism to keep things going as it were always because they are the benefitors of this system. In a way this is a very patriarchal system where the younger, the marginal people, among them women, you have only two or three women in the Lebanese parliament today which is astonishing compared to other Arab countries are completely out of the game and submitted to the rule of these ruling people. So any chance to progress, to enlarge the political and social dialogue in Lebanon would come from these marginal groups, younger generations, and taking into account women's problem, marginalized people's problem, and trying to keep the youth in the country life and not immigrate to find a better solution outside. Mm -hmm. Among the challenges, I think the fact that the political class is very powerful, uh, First, because they are related to the economic class. The people who hold the finance and the real estate and the political power in Lebanon are the same and the same families and have been the same for years. So they are able to block any change in the system and this is a real problem. But this is reinforced by the fact that because of the delicate situation in the Middle East and especially the current situation in Syria and the danger of uh, war with Israel through the Hezbollah problem, because of that, surrounding nations, great powers, uh, uh, the European Union for example, but also Arab big countries, do conquer in sticking into immobility for Lebanon and saying better have this not very satisfying situation that we know 
that any change in this region which might be very dangerous. So within that time and for 20 years now, we have seen the Lebanese people being kind of victims of this refusal of any change of the situation. The only optimistic feeling I have is that we might have made some people aware of the domestic uh, un inequalitarian and um, um, quite negative situation within Lebanon today, which generally they tend to ignore because on the surface this is such an ideal political system.